Looks like a rainstorm coming up in Kigali. But we're gonna try to shoot a video here in just a minute. All right, I'm here with another guest. And when we come back, we're gonna ask his uh, name and how he likes it here in Rhonda in just one minute. Alright, we're back with Mr. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Uh Dobby Lewis. Alright, uh, how long how long you been here? I've been here for about a week now. Just uh this is my sample visit to Rwanda. Uh, how you like it so far? It's been great man. I've been investing in here, uh purchased one of your beautiful homes, affordable homes. So. Yes, Mr. Lewis just purchased a home, so, yeah, so I know he's coming back because he just purchased the home. No doubt. <laughs> If anybody's out there, if y'all thinking about doing it, then you better jump on them now before they're gone. Yes, yeah, so not only that, but also prices are going up. Yes. So he got a good deal because this time next year, the home that he purchased is going to be worth at least fifteen or twenty thousand dollars more yeah. than what he paid for it yesterday. Yeah. Because it's, so. it's, it's actually even the lots that you sell, man, are, are selling now. Uh, I missed the opportunity on one, just being a tad bit slow mm -hmm. on my part, but. Yeah, if, you, if you're looking to invest uh, in Rwanda, especially, I would say go with Ty. Uh, I've had a great experience with, uh, with him. Everything has been top notch. And uh, so I, I, my experience with working with the African Investment Group has been outstanding. So I recommend that yes, you do. If not purchase a home, definitely, definitely, definitely get in contact with it. And think about maybe purchase you a lot or maybe an existing home in Rwanda because they are selling out. And also, this is not your first time to Africa. You've been like to other countries. Yes. Do yes, you want uh, to talk about that? Or? Uh, well, yes. I mean, before I came here to Rwanda, I, was, I actually left from Ghana hmm. to, uh, to come here. Okay. So, and how, how? I know a lot of people are going to get mad, but I'm going to ask anyway. How do you like uh, Rwanda compared to Ghana? Uh, Ghana has its, its advantages. It's, it's definitely far as uh, fertile land, uh, good climate and everything as well. But for me, Rwanda is a lot more developed as a nation as a whole. Yes. Uh, the ease of doing business, uh, purchasing land or homes, it's a lot easier, a lot simpler. Uh, where Ghana, it's not like it's super complicated, but there is a little more complexity to it versus Rwanda. So as far as investing, Ghana is still a good place to invest. Uh, but for me, as far as a place I want to invest in the state, Rwanda's my, my spot. This is where I guess you could say this is where I'm when I retire, this is this is my retirement location. All right. And that's that's it. But yes, but do not give up on Ghana. I'm not saying that. <laughs> exactly. I mean because each country has its own, you know, good points and bad points. Yeah, so. it really does. It so really we're does. not saying nothing bad about no other country. We're just saying what's the difference between the two. That's yeah, all basically. Definitely for me. Definitely for me, like I said, retirement wise, Rwanda is the place that I want to retire to. Some people may choose Ghana and that's okay. Like I said, Ghana is also on the up and coming, but I think that Rwanda is uh a little more advanced, a little further ahead. That's better what I'll say. They're a little further ahead yes. on infrastructure, uh, 
ease of doing business and just the whole uh, starting a business. It's mm -hmm. they're a little, a little more ahead than Ghana, so but it doesn't mean that Ghana will not catch up. It will, and uh, so both you can't go wrong. With. Let me say that yes. it's all depend on what you as an individual. Look at. All right. All right. You have anything you want to say to your friends back home or uh, family? Yeah, man. Uh, I'll tell them uh, get in the game. <laughs> get in the game before it's too late. That's all I'd say. Exactly. Uh, There's a lot of opportunities there. There really is. I mean, yeah. America can still be your home. It doesn't mean that you cannot have another a second address. Yes. Nothing's wrong with having a second address. Or just an investment property. Or an investment know? property. Because, like I said, the real estate prices are going up so fast yeah. there. Yes. And uh, even, like I said, if you're a person that want to get into agriculture, Rwanda mm -hmm. has opportunities for agriculture yes. and process. All yes. of Africa has agriculture. For that. Mm -hmm. So get in the game, y'all. That's all I want to say to friends, family, to anybody watching this video. Mm -hmm. Get in the game and stop sitting on the side. Exactly. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you. All right.